Okay, so last night, uh, Kat and I went to go see MCR, and it was awesome. And, uh, hold on. I got this jacket, which is the comfiest thing I've ever worn in my life. It's just so freaking comfy. <sighs> Probably because the inside has is lined with fleece, which explains why it was $45. By the way, AU, I love you for giving me that five dollars. You are the best. I love you. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, we left kind of late. Like, um, I mean, we left my house kind of late to get to the venue. Uh, we left, when did we leave? Left at like three. We got there at maybe like five thirty. And then we kind of just walked around a little bit because my stepdad was going to try and either like get us in early or something, but that never happened. We actually got in late. I should have just stayed online with Brandy, but I didn't because I was dumb. Well, yeah, and I met Brandy and AU and it was awesome. And poor Brandy, she was like freezing. I felt so bad because she had a little blanket over her head. And I was just like, you poor thing. And then, um, <clears throat> AU was so nice, or IU, or whatever, because she kept correcting me, and I was just like, I don't care, that's how I pronounce your name, okay? People on the wait call me Catlin, so I am allowed to call you AU. Um, she was, like, so happy and stuff, and she's like, hi, hug, I love you, okay? And then we got inside, well, then I went off to go find my stepdad again. Well, we both did. Uh, me and Kat, or Kat and I, I don't even know. Um, we ended up going around to the back of the venue where all of the tech guys were, and it was kind of boring. We just kind of sat there and stood there for like an hour and a half um, in the cold because it was cold. And uh, so we just kind of stood there. The only good thing that happened as a result of us standing back there is that after a while Frank came out, not near us, he was like a hundred feet away but he came out and Jami was there and they were I think they were like loading their twins into a car like because I saw the little baby baskets and it was so adorable and then Donna and Donald Way got out of that car and they were just like fucking awesome people all in the same area got Frank, Jami, Donna and Donald Way, all in the same area. And I was just like, oh my god. This is just too awesome. I can't even handle the awesomeness of what is going on in front of my face right now. But, so I was just kind of staring like a creeper from afar. Whatever. Um. But Kat was just like, come on, go over and meet him. And I was like, no, he's like with his wife and his children and Gerard's and Mikey's parents. I'm not gonna intrude on their little moment, that's rude. So I didn't, I just stared. And died inside because Frank is the cutest husband in the world and he kept smiling at Jamia and it was just like, oh, so adorable. So then we just, okay, then we stood some more and some more. And we kept waiting for my uncle's friend who is the stage manager at Terminal 5. We kept waiting and waiting and waiting. And it was like 10 after 7 and we're like, okay, we're officially late. Um, we're gonna be in the back because they've let everybody in already and yeah so eventually some guy came and got us and let us in and we were in the back but we worked our way up we were like I think maybe like 10 people from the barrier at one point and then we got pushed back because people were moshing to every freaking song every single song except for summertime because you can't mosh to that song even though apparently somebody on tumblr who was at the Toronto show or the Mo Montreal? I don't remember. They said that somebody was moshing to Cancer. If some, if, okay, they didn't even play Cancer at my show. But if they moshed to Cancer, I think I would have just punched them in the face because just no, you don't mosh to that song. Okay, you just don't. It doesn't happen. Um, the set list was all right. I mean, it wasn't really anything special. Cause I mean. They, I mean, they played vampires, but they've been doing that at, like, every single date. Apparently, they were supposed to play Our Lady of Sorrows, and they didn't, and Kat was really pissed. 
Um, they played. Hold on, I have it written down. Or I tried to write it on the wait. Okay, this isn't not. This isn't in order. It's not in order. I was just trying to remember what songs. Uh, they obviously opened with "Look Alive, Sunshine" and then went into "Na Na Na." They played "Planetary," "The Only Hope for Me Is You," "Hang 'Em High," "Vampires," "Vampire Money," "Helena," "Bulletproof Heart," "Destroy," "Welcome to the Black Parade," "Famous Last Words," "Summertime," "I'm Not Okay," "Teenagers," and "Mama." And um, okay, so there's like the way that it's set up in Terminal Five is that there's there's like the stage and then there's the crowd and then there's balconies there's a second floor balcony and a third floor balcony and uh donna way was on the second floor balcony next to the stage she was like rocking out so hard it was it was the greatest thing ever she's she's so cool um it, oh my god during mama she was just singing so she was just fucking rocking out and it was the greatest and i just love donna way so much she is so fabulous now i know where gerard gets it from <clears throat> Sorry my voice is so, so, like, quiet. Because I, uh, kind of screamed really loud last night, and, um, I hope nobody got it on camera, because, uh, if anybody did, I'm, I'm sorry for ruining your concert footage with my terrible screaming. Um, slash singing, or just yelling. I probably was not even on pitch at all. I don't even care at this point, whatever. Um, but yeah, sorry if I messed up your videos. I didn't take any pictures because I don't have a camera, except for my DSLR, but I wasn't about to take that to a concert where I wasn't guaranteed to be in the front. Uh, because the only concert I've ever taken it to was one where I had a spot at the barrier, basically. So, yeah, that didn't happen. Kat took pictures, though, and she took a video during Vampires, so hopefully that'll be up soon. <clears throat> Um, what else? Oh, during Destroya, like, right before they started playing it, Gerard was on the floor. Like, laying on the floor. With one leg kind of, like, in the air, I think. I couldn't see the stage very well. Like, I couldn't see the, the floor of the stage very well. I could see everybody playing and stuff, but I couldn't really see the floor. But he was just laying on the floor, and I was just like, Oh my god, Gerard! Why do you do this to me? <laughs> Ugh, my ovaries died so many times last night. If I even have any ovaries left, Tumblr just pretty much decimated them, but, you know, seeing MCR in concert has destroyed them even more. Um. Hmm. <laughs> okay, there were, like, so many trolls at that concert. Okay, there was one guy who was doing, who was their guitar technician, their guitar tech, who looked like Ray. And everybody kept freaking out when he was on stage because he looked like Ray and he was doing guitar tech for Ray's stuff. And then there was this guy in the third floor balcony who had red hair and everybody thought he was Gerard. But he clearly wasn't because he was Asian. But people are really retarded and they... I don't even know. They're just really dumb. Um. Yeah. Um. And we saw Brandy Way when we were walking around to go to the back of the venue. She was kind of just chilling out in the front. <sighs> so jealous. Whatever. Um. <clears throat> um. Oh, this one guy we were talking to when we were in the back, who I guess works for the Forks for Terminal Five or something. He was trying. To, he didn't even know MCR's name, so he called them My Chemical Reaction. Oh God. I love old people. Uh, hmm. Sorry, my lips are really chapped. Carmex is the chapstick of the gods. Um, so yeah, I didn't get to meet them or anything. It was kind of sad. I really wanted to. But um, whatever, I'll probably meet them one day. I hope I do. Um, but I don't really know how I would react, considering Frank was 100 feet away and I nearly lost my shit. I don't know what I would do if he was right in front of my face. Probably just die. Like, literally just fall over and die. But, uh, yeah. 
And this video is almost 10 minutes long, so I'm gonna just wrap it up and say that. Just like general overall commentary on the whole thing. Okay, so uh, the architects were alright. They weren't that great, but whatever. And I didn't like how they, for some reason, the guy had to tell us what every song was about before they played it. Like he was like, oh, this song's about my dad. This song's about dancing. This song's about, this song's about assholes. Or the worst... He said, like, the worst kind of people in the best kind of place. Or something. I, d I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, Neon Trees is actually really good. Their, their frontman is really sassy. Like, he's like Gerard's apprentice in sass. And their, their drummer, who's a girl, is so awesome. And her voice is so nice. Oh, the architects have a really hot basis, by the way. Because he came out one time and I thought he was Frank, but then I was just like, wait, Frank doesn't have long hair. Because he kind of does look like him, and it was, yeah. Um, I think that's it. So yeah, that's what happened. Alright, this is like the first vlog I've made, and I don't even know how long. Oh, yay. Okay, so, bye.